Hey guys, on my way to pick up a DoorDash order, so I'm driving down the road and it hit me because I'm gonna go pick up at Little Caesars, AKA Little Sleezers. And usually DoorDash wants you to take a picture of your pizza bag and it hit me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even have my delivery bags in my car. So I had to flip around and run back home and get my delivery bags because, you know, sometimes we go on trips or out of town, I'll, I'll take my bags out of my car because I need room in my car for stuff. And so I had to go get my bag so I can go get this order just in case they ask me for a picture of my pizza bag, which they typically do. I'm almost there. The order was for $16.24 for 5.5 miles. Now it is two pickups. Not exactly sure what's in the order, how many items, but I'll find out when I get there. Um, I'm assuming the order will be ready because I had to flip around and go get my bag. So we're heading there, we're gonna go check in. All right guys, for some reason, I did not end up getting the footage inside of Little Caesars. So I go in there, Little Caesars is typically busy inside. Both of my orders were ready. I could see my names for both of my customers on the portal, the first portal. And if you go into the order, there's a portal number for each separate order. Well, I go to get my first order out and the portal's acting funny, then it freezes up. I couldn't get my order out and I'm like, okay, maybe it'll reset. So I ask one of the employees to get my order out. He gets it out. And then um, I was looking at the order. There was a drink, which a, a two liter, which I did end up getting with Little Caesars. I've said this before. One, some of the items will be forgotten. So you always have to double check to make sure all of the items were given to you. And you also want to make sure um, if there's any drinks. And there was a two liter. So I did grab the two liter for the order. So I got that order, put it in the bag, got it zipped up. And then I go back to the portal to get my second order. Well, the machine is still frozen. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm waiting at the counter for this other employee to get finished helping somebody else out. He seems annoyed, you know, told him his uh, portal's not working. It seems to be out of order. He didn't seem very happy. I don't know if he's having a bad day or whatnot. Anyways, he got my order. We're good. We're off. Customer is four minutes because I'm on the road now. Four minutes, uh, 1.5 miles. They are in an apartment, so we're on our way. Let's go get it dropped off. Alright guys, smooth drop off one of my more favorite apartments, straightforward, buildings marked well. Next drop off is literally around the corner one minute and we are on our way. Orders all dropped off. Base pay for at least both of the orders combined was $4. First customer tipped $6.03. Second customer tipped $6.21, making the grand total $16.24. All right, guys, a little argument going on outside. I'm like, it's getting intense. <laughs> They've already walked by, now they're walking back by. Um, anyways, as you guys know, the evenings are getting darker a lot earlier, and we could all use some extra help when it comes to nighttime deliveries, especially with having the customers leaving their porch lights on. I got an email from DoorDash, and some of you guys may have already seen this. It says, and it's in our 
our favorite guys. I love it. It says a porch light reminders for easy nighttime deliveries. It can be tough to find a customer's drop off spot when it's dark outside. Yes, it can. To help dashers, we now send customers a friendly reminder to turn on their porch lights for nighttime deliveries between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. I absolutely love that. I love that they are doing this. This will definitely hopefully help as long as they read their message. Now, the other thing is, which I've mentioned many times, I carry a flashlight on me, a very high powered flashlight. It's a tiny little thing, but it is powerful. It's a must have just in case the customer forgets to leave their porch light on. This thing has saved me numerous times. I always keep it on this wristlet. I know some people that have purchased it have either put it on a hat or a lanyard, but that way you have it on you. The other thing that I carry with me is my pepper spray. I've mentioned this before. It won't do you any good if it's in a pocket. You need it where it's quick and accessible just in case you need to use it to protect yourself from a person or an animal. We definitely, one, need to be able to see when we're out here and two, be able to protect ourselves. I do have the links down below for either the pepper spray and the flashlight, but I had to share the porch light thing because I love that. I know a lot of you guys have mentioned that you hate when you go to do a delivery that the porch lights aren't on and some of you guys will even message the customers. So DoorDash is listening. We definitely appreciate that. Hopefully we'll see some results of those messages being sent to the customers when we go do our late night deliveries. Not sure if Uber Eats does that already. If they don't, hopefully they will hop on board as well as Spark and all the other delivery apps because we can use all the help we can. So we're going to see what else we can get for tonight. We're going to try to keep these wheels to move it. All right, guys, it didn't take me much time to get the next order. Of course, I did have to decline something and Spark is sending me something and I have an add-on. Let me check this out. Now, Spark, oh, add-on 0.9 miles for $4.50. I'm going to pass on it. Let me know if you guys would take it. Um, the miles are really low, but for $4.50, there is just too many problems that I could run into. So that is a no-go for me. But let me know if you guys would take it. And somebody is here. Hi there. Here you go. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, and a straw. Thank you. All right, at the window. It didn't take them very much uh, time at all. Now, where was it? Now I got all the food here. Give me one moment. <laughs> all right, kind of threw me off. Everything's in the hot bag, and we got their dessert back here, some Reese's Pieces thing. Um, I did have to decline something before I accepted this offer for Sonic. $4.47 for 7.9 miles. That is just a backwards offer. And the offer that I did accept for Sonic they came out super, super quick. I feel like I just pushed the button, which is not a bad thing at all. $10.82 for 4.6 miles. So let's go get this dropped off. I am going to confirm pickup. And they are 7 minutes, 3.3 miles. And uh, they're in a hotel. I've delivered to this hotel before. We are on our way. We're still on our way, guys. The customer just messaged me that they'll meet me outside, which is nice. Let me turn down the GPS. But um, I forgot to mention the Spark situation. So Spark is on, and I've gotten a couple notifications that I have offers coming. You know you get the, the push notification. And so you click on it, and you go in there to see what offers are there and nothing's there the first time nor the second time and the same thing just happened I'm, I'm off to go deliver this order now granted I do turn off my other apps you know I try to at least remember to turn off my other apps when I'm on an order because I got to focus on this order get it dropped off when I get close to drop off then I'll turn on my other apps but get another push notification that I have you know offers coming in click on it and there's nothing there <laughs> I have not had that happen it's weird it's like the offers are like ghosted and at first when that happened I'm thinking to myself that maybe somebody grabbed it somebody grabbed it on the second one but the third time that happening doesn't make any sense so I turned off the app I, I went offline and then after I'm done dropping off this order, I'll go back online and see if the offers show up. But completely bizarre. Let me know if you have had that happen. We're going to go get this order dropped off five minutes away, three miles. Hi, David. Perfect. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good. All right. 
Here's your dessert. Those must be good. A lot of people order those. They are. Are they better than like Dairy Queen? Oh yeah. Okay. By a long shot. Okay, well that's good to know. <laughs> All right, so there's that. And your straw, you need that. And there you are. Sweet. Thank Have you a good so much. night. You too. Thank you. Orders all dropped off, super easy drop off. Customer's waiting outside like he said he was. I'm pulling in and I see somebody down there looking at his phone and then he looks up, give him a wave, he waves back. Um, all is well, he seemed happy to have his food. I'm gonna get out of this area and hopefully I can get another offer. I did turn on Spark, hoping me turning it off, closing out of all of my apps helped because that is just funky. Um, sometimes it might need an update too. I haven't checked, I gotta check on that. I've had that happen in the past where I need an update and that typically will help. Um, we're gonna find out again. Let me know if it's happened to you. Let's see what else we can get. Keep these wheels to moving. So it took a moment for me to get a reasonable offer. Of course, there was some declining that needed to be done. Uh, but before I tell you about the offer I got, I wanted to update you guys on the whole Spark situation. I looked into my settings, seeing if I needed an update. Everything is up to date. I still got some more push notifications that there was some offers in there. Now, before when I'd go in there, there'd be nothing in there. Well, this time I went in there and and there was a couple offers that I could see, but they went like this. So I'm thinking maybe there's newer drivers out and they're just grabbing the offers like this to where I can barely see them unless it's like a glitch. I've never had that happen before to where the offers aren't there like on several occasions tonight. And then I got to see them for like a quick second and then they're gone. So let me know if you've experienced it totally bizarre usually you can at least look at them for a second before anybody grabs them unless i'm being delayed on seeing the offers i don't know totally funky but here is what i've declined so far before getting a reasonable offer and like i said it took a moment for me to get a reasonable offer um not even sure how long but <laughs> maybe like 10 minutes um give or take so the first offer was five dollars nine cents for seven point five miles not even worth accepting the pay is just too low then doordash sent me an offer two dollars 75 cents that is just too low plus it was for 3.6 miles then uber eats wanted to try again a four dollars 59 cents for 4.7 miles pay is just too low miles is too high just not an offer worth accepting hell that is i usually do they usually eventually come through Finally got an offer, $10.15 for 3.6 miles for a sushi restaurant. One of my favorite sushi restaurants to pick up from. Order is typically ready, so we're gonna go in there and hopefully the order's on the shelf. Hi, uh, picking up for this maid. Um, Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. Order was ready just as I was hoping for. Customer drop off, eight minutes, 3.5 miles. It looks to be a house. We're on our way. Orders all dropped off. Another smooth drop off. The night has been going good for the most part. There was, you know, that portion of time where wasn't getting any good offers for a moment, but you gotta be patient. Sometimes they eventually come in. And then the only funky thing is the spark situation. Again, I don't know if there's new drivers and they're just grabbing the offers without looking at them or if it's just a glitch and maybe they're being delayed. I don't know, but totally funky. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here. Always appreciate you guys riding along with me as always. And of course, if you guys did enjoy the ride along, please give the video a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys